Hello everyone, in this video, I'd like to discuss back of Tunkai 3, save as archive this zip function to archive your project. Recently, I received some emails. Some Twinkai 3 programmers, they complain they lost part of their files in the Twinkai 3 project. This actually brought up one topic, how can we archive or zip our project probably from Twinkai 3 project. As we know, back of Twinkai 3, it has a solution, and it has a project, and under the project, you have a PLC project, or the safety project, or maybe you also have a C++ project. Each of them, they running as the individual folder or files under the solution folder. So when you open this solution folder, you will see a couple of folders. In case you need to send or archive your project, save your project, save as archive is the best solution. However, sometimes when you receive or browse the zip file from the Twinkai 3, the archive file, you will find some files extension is a tnzip, some project is a dszip, some project is a tpzip. They are quite as confused. So I like to demonstrate what the difference between of them, especially lot of cases, people will feel confused, the tnzip and the tszip. So for here, tnzip is a solution archive, and tszip is the project level archive. And tpzip is a simple, it's a PLC project. In addition, the safety project and C++, they can also save as archive. They also have a their individual extension name. Okay, let's open the Twinkai 3, let's demonstrate how can I export one project, save as archive, and how can we import the zip file. Okay, Twinkai XAE, let's run as administrator. Okay, under the C drive, under this directory, I create one folder named zip. So I will create two projects and I will export, save as a archive file. So I will create project A and project B. Then when I import those files, you will see the role of those archive files. Okay, let me firstly create project A, file, new project. Okay, I will browse this directory, select the folder. And then let me name this Twinkhead project A1. And take care, this is solution name. This solution name directly correlated with the solution name at the top. So let's create. Okay, we create Twinkai project A1, this is a solution. And the default, this project name also named as Twinkai project A1. And to show this difference here, I intend to change this name. So project number, project name is a A1 PRG. Okay, project. And under here, PLC, I will right click, click this add a new item. Let's create one PLC project directory. Typically, we will select this default because we create this project A solution name already. And it also create this project name here. Okay, this is the my directory. So my zip, this folder was empty. And we create this solution. So this solution named A1, it is here. Okay, let's change that PLC A1, standard PLC project. Okay, we create this PLC project and to demonstrate the files within those folder, I will create one GVL global variable list. And that's it. So under the POU, it is main and I also create this global variable list. Okay, and let's save and do a quick build. Okay, after the build, let's go to the folder. Let's see every time when we create one solution project from this Twinkai 3, and which kind of files locate under this directory. Okay, this is our solution folder name, A1. And once we jump in, we will see this extension as solution, as LN, this is solution name, this is this name here. Okay, so if I change the name here, A1, solution enter okay save and uh, let's jump back to this folder here we will see this solution zip folder will now change once this folder set up this folder will now change the name but the, the file 
enter this folder, the solution name will follow this name. Okay, it will be changed. Okay, and then this folder name, this folder actually this is a project name. Initially, we set up the project A1. That's why the folder name was A1. Okay, then we jumped in. And from here, we will see this is the project. So it named TSPROG. This is the extension name. And this project name, it is A1 Project PRJ. Okay, we'll see here. So that means initially there's one top level folder. This is solution folder. And this is two files correlated with this solution shell. And here, this folder is actually the project name. Okay. And this will be very confused because when we set up a new solution, the default project name and the solution name, they are the same. So you will see the two same folder. So you need to be very clear to understand. So what the difference between these two folders, even though they are the same. So the under the inside one, this inside one, this is the, actually the project. It is here. So if we open this and we will see the PLC A1 we set up here, it is PLC A1. And under this PLC A1 folder, and we can look at this GVL file, it is located here. This is GVL file. So the beauty things of this TwinCast 3 solution, this project folder, you can individually copy paste the files within this project. And now if I create a second project under this solution, so if I add a new project, let's call this project A2 PRJ. A2 PRJ. Okay. Look at this. This A1 is actually the solution, the solution name here. Okay. So we create this project under this solution folder. So let's click the OK. We create this second project under this solution. And we will now create a PLC. But now if we look at this directory, zip, this is the solution folder. And double click, we'll see A2. Now, because we create this solution directly named as a PRJ, this folder initially named as this A2 PRJ here. Okay. Under this A2 PRJ, we'll see. And this project extension is TSPRJ. Okay. So here, I like to bring this again. So even though we change this name here, but the folder haven't not changed that yet. So this brings up one topic here is, so when we create a project, you better have a clear concept, which kind of name you better name your solution and how to organize your project. Because once you create your solution and a project, those folder names cannot be easily changed. Basically, if you have to change, you need to unload your project from the solution and then change the directory, change the, the folder. And after change the folder, you need to import your project back to the solution again. So this is the basic procedure. Okay, this is the project one. A1 solution. Uh, let's save it. And now I will close this solution and I will create a second solution. And I will name that B1. Close solution. And now let's create a new solution here, project. And this time under this directory, same this folder, CIP folder, I will name this B. Look at here. The target, we are going to create a new project. We will name this name project B1, B1 PRJ. But the solution name here, we will name that B1 solution. Okay, we will separate the name solution, we will name that solution. And the project name, we will name that project name. Okay, let's create. And this time we will see if we now we go to the zip, the solution name is named the B1 solution. And under this folder, the solution as LN this extension has been created. And under this solution, we'll see it is the B1 project. And under the B1 project, it is a B1 PRJ extension is a TS project. 
okay and currently we haven't created plc project yet so once we create a plc project we will see something will show up at here so now let's create a plc and uh, we will see it will be default it will be created under this project folder so i highly recommend don't change this directory otherwise accidentally your plc project will be created to some other places and split with your project folder okay so this is the plc i will create that plc i will name that plc underscore b1 plc underscore b1 create and once we create this plc we'll see under the solution under this project folder and we create this plc b1 and once we open this plc b1 we'll see the gvl pou and uh, uh, hmi they all here they are all here okay so this is the project directory again name they are very important okay and now i will export the b project and uh, i will try to import into the a project so when we import we will see how can we archive export and import project if we try to save as archive for our solution level and we can right click and uh, click this save twincat project b1 solution as archive this is actually the most common way this is solution level archive basically it can export and archive all the components under this solution okay so i will create a folder that named archive okay as we can see when i export b1 solution so its extension name is tnzip solution this is n okay save very quick and then for the project we can right click and select this save twinkhead project as archive okay and go to this archive folder and click save but before click save as we can see here project is name extension name it is tscip tscip okay save okay and then the plc this plc also can be saved as archive file let's go to our plc b1 and right click and uh, click save plc underscore b1 as archive okay select this archive folder and this is the plc underscore b1 tp zip p here is the plc so let's click this save okay very quick then let's go to our folder go to zip folder and go to this archive we export three level and now we have a three individual zip file so the solution level it is this b1 solution it is tnzip and the second level it is project level it is tszip and the plc archive it is tpzip okay if we double click this solution literally this is the one zip file so if we double click this zip file tnzip you will see this is solution sln and uh, this is the the project here and uh, under this project we create the plc b1 right under this plc b1 this folder it has everything here and uh, this is a plc project and in case you need to send your solution to others via email or copy via usb so you can literally copy this solution file and uh, send to others or for your plc project archive and now if the other one receives this solution then they can do this way to retrieve this solution zip file let's open a close solution let's open my and now i will open my a1 solution okay once we open this a1 solution i have my a1 project and the a2 project here okay now i'm going to import the project b project if i click here and I click 
add existing project. And then I will select the B1 project. The project the extension name is TSZIP. Okay, I click the open. When we open the archive file from others, we need to be very carefully where is a proper place to retrieve your project. And since this A1 solution, it is this folder, okay? And under this solution folder, it has two subfolders, A1 project and A2 project, okay? Again, this A1 project, this folder, haven't changed the name yet, okay? So this is the two folders here. Then when we try to retrieve our B project, we can retrieve the same level. So don't retrieve to a different folder. So once you accidentally retrieve your project into other projects, the subfolder, it will be pretty mess. So this need be very carefully retrieve the project under this solution folder. We better create a folder and then retrieve all your project import from others into a specific folder. So in this case, we can name that TwinCat project, TwinCat project B, B1, this project folder. Okay, let's select this B1. And then let's select folder, and then the system will try to retrieve. All right, so system retrieve this B1 project. And we can see this PLC B1 is under this B1 project. So now this A1 solution has three projects here. And now let's go to the folder. Go to the directory. So zip. So this is our A1 solution folder and double click. And we'll see this is the A1 project folder. This is A2 project folder. And uh, this is the B1 project folder. And this is a solution, the shell, SLN solution. And under this B1, and we will see the B1 project, its extension is a TS project. And under this PLC underscore B1, this folder, it is PLC files. And all the PLC files are here. So if you accidentally export your project into a wrong folder, it will be really a disaster for your project. So you need to be very careful for this. Okay, so this is the way, how can we archive the project, use the save the project as an archive, and then how can we import? Basically, you can click your solution and uh, click the add the existing project. Same idea, if you try to add the PLC project, into your existing project. So you can click the PLC and click this add existing item. And then the optional, the zip file will be only the archive, the PLC project. Look at this, for example, under this A1 solution, it is this PLC underscore B1. B1 PLC project is the extension is TPZIP file. Let's quickly have a summary. Again, the extension file tnzip, it is a solution. When you save the solution as an archive, make sure you select this solution level, okay? And the project level zip file is the extension is a tszip project. And the PLC project is a tpzip. So typically when you create one solution, those system level settings will not be changed too much but maybe you have a different programmers work together and uh, people will export and import the PLC project from others. So you frequently will import, export this TP zip. And finally, when you try to archive your entire solution, upload this solution to your organization level, to a SharePoint, save the solution as an archive is the best way to do that. All right, this is the topic for today. Back off to 3, save as archive. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.